Hey guys, Ace and Gia. So we finally got Sergeant on main account. I did get him on my second account, but that account is very undergeared and doesn't have the best leaks. So now I can review properly since we got a purple raid, and that's the new Tor raid. And for this review, we will look at his NAD build, SAD build, hybrid build, and CDR build. So going through his stats, we got stamina 1030, attack 762, which is the highest in the game, or second highest I believe. Defense is 350, focus 315, and SP 616. So his skill is a spider, so it does 40% extra damage to a spider, and Soltra is normal attack damage plus 20%. So his 6 star abilities and percentages will be in the description below, these are all obtained by Bleach and Brave Souls FYI. But you know why this guy is the star of the show, because he's got Poise, Flurry, and he's a mind unit, so he doesn't have any real weakness. So let's start off with the NAD build. We've got a Captain's Rope with 20% attack, a Champion Spencer with 30% attack, 20%, 20%, and 25% NAD link. So all up, we've got 85% increased normal attack damage. That's including his 20% actual soul trait and plus 100% attack through his items and a bit due to his level 1 link slot, which is like 15 attack. It doesn't make a significant difference. And let's see how this guy plays. So, no friends, no boosters. Alrighty. Wow, just one shots these enemies. And this is on the hardest difficulty as well. So he's doing about 8k damage. So, as you can see by his normal Nash streak, he's not using his special ability yet. And that is, when you use your special, his last hit on his streak is, has better range. I want to say it's close to full screen as well. So, I'll show it off in the second room. We'll hit some enemies with a perk. So we have 6k damage per hit. So if you double that for the flurry, that's 12k damage. This guy's an absolute monster. That was 11k right there. He had 6 and 5. He just tears through all these raids. I highly suggest if you're running the double chappy build or nat build that you use your special straight away. There's no point if using your special you got zero SP. If you want the extra advantage on um, his nat string. Also, I do want to say he's faster with both kinis, and that is the green, blue, red. Red's pretty slow. I think green is faster than blue by slightly, but I do want to say Sergeant is the fastest out of all the flurry characters with poise. I do want to say though that New Tora, although he doesn't have poise, he's faster in regards to his nat speed. Look at that, he's last here on his nat stream, just reaches the end of the room, or end of the screen, I should say. Look at that, 14k on New Tora and just absolutely dead. This guy's an absolute monster. One hundred thirty on a legendary. That's insane. All right, next we move on to the SAD build. So taking a look at his SAD build, we got a Hajikusai with thirty percent SP, a Spiritcore with thirty percent SP, and a Captain Drop with twenty percent SP. So all up, we got eighty percent SP. And in regards to the links, we got twenty, twenty-five, and twenty percent strong attack damage. So all up, sixty-five percent. So I don't want to use the Yuki or Puffles, so we keep our focus because I do have items with really decent SP on them as a second effect. So we'll keep his focus in that case. No friends, no boosters, and let's see if we can beat 1 minute 30. Alrighty, first strong attack, 3500 per hit. Nice forward slash move. Second strong attack, similar to a shockwave move, we've got 1500 per hit. He's now doing 1500 as well, so about 3k overall. Strong attack, decent full screen, got 2 pay for as well. So I do want to save a special for the boss since we do have SP now. So he does have the potential to one shot with his strong attack as well. This play hits really really hard. Nice full screen as well. I'll tell you for now, I mean this guy's a hybrid build, but I can tell him to be an absolute monster. Yeah, so you can one-shot the more small enemies. 
But I'll tell you the most of the big ones. Yeah, you can go up with some health with this Bullstrom attack. But it's doing some decent damage, but... I wouldn't say that SAD will be the right build for I have a hybrid or you have a hybrid. You have hit a couple times, yeah. You should be fine, though. I'm going to be too cocky with him. Boy, he's happy, sorry. That is the house. So yeah, we're definitely not bringing one at 30. This good. I want to spam his special. See if I can use the boss. Okay, we're gonna go. But that's heavy damage with his killer though. Every strong attack and yeah. normal attack was about 3k. So 2 minutes 12, so about 40 seconds uh, slower than the NAD build. However, a free new Tora. However, next for hybrid build, I think that build will be definitely better than the SAD build, but I'm not sure about the NAD build. Alrighty, so taking a look at his hybrid build, we got a new dispenser with 20% SP, a public dispenser with 20% attack, and his captain drop with 20% attack. So all up, we got 60% attack and 40% SP. And in regards to the links, we got Friends Ichigo, Gel, Friends Ichigo, and Shunsu is a 25% normal attack damage link. The reason why I put attack is obviously because our strong attacks have cooldowns, and this character has flurry, so he's, he's built around doing more normal attack than strong attack. So no boosters, no friends, and let's see if you can beat 1 minute 30. Alright, strong attack, so 3k per hit, so 6k all up because of flurry. First strong attack, 3.3k per hit. Second, about 1200 to 1300. Third, about 2 to 2.1 per hit. Just doing crazy damage on both these strong attacks and the wall attacks. Fortunately, we missed the whole enough range. I'm pretty sure I'll get close to it. I'll probably say like 1 minute 45 maybe. The flurry on this guy is just too good. Alrighty, boss time. So I'm gonna spam those specials since we do have SP now. Tora drop. I don't see how fast that was. So 1 minute 50, close to my prediction 1 minute 45. So it is 20 seconds slower than the NAD build, so definitely NAD build. And we do have one more build, which I think will be the slowest, and that's the CDR build. So taking a look at his CDR build, we've got the exact same gear as the SAD build. Now we've got 3 negative 12% strong attack recharge time. So approximately maybe 36% of our reach time is neglected. No boosters, no friends, and let's see how he plays. Alrighty, first strong attack, 6 second cooldown, 2200 damage per hit. Second left cooldown, with about 900 damage per hit. We use the third strong attack here. 60 second cooldown with 1800 damage per hit average. Try to 
you if you hold them. Well, this build won't be really slow, but I'll be slow if you the other builds. I don't want to bash this build. Oops, I don't want to switch. Like I said, I'll do the about 10 seconds slower than the SAT build. Sabertron attack has some really nice range. Like, even though this is a flurry character, his strong attacks hit really hard as well. I'll definitely get to 200. It's a no brainer. Oh, so I really like the animation of the game, it's actually. Unfortunately, though, the PCDR build it doesn't one shot. Not even the small enemies. Put myself on. Even his first one, that's a nice already to it as well. No, we got zero drops. That's the first. Alright, special time. I hit four times as well, I hit him from behind. So 2 minutes 24, I think the SAT build was 2 minutes 10, so I was a bit right, 10 to 20 seconds slower. So overall, Thousand Year Battle of Sajin, or Human Sajin, or Manga Sajin, whatever you want to call him. Honestly, in my opinion, he's the best mind character to date. He's got one of the best move pools, the Flurry and Poise, which you can't go wrong, and we've never had on a mind or heart unit. Is special, I recommend to use it when you have zero SP at the start of the quest. But however, if you do have SP, I would say you could use one at the start and then use one at the boss. Unless the boss doesn't have a soul bomb uh, box, then definitely use at the start because it has a really nice range to it as well. It's, it hits from the start of the screen to the end of the screen, not to the end of the stage. Honestly, if you have him, definitely get him to 200, it's a no brainer. And, you can't say it wrong, anything wrong about this character, it's an absolute monster. In my opinion, he was the best one out of the four Thousand Year Battle of characters. And I finally got him on main, but I didn't get him straight away, which sucks, but it is what it is. But I finally have him. And if you guys haven't pulled him, there's a little bit of time left on the Thousand Year Battle of Gacha, or if you're very, very lucky on the tickets. And if you do get him, honestly, it's a blessing from Caleb. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more British Brave Souls content, and enjoy your day.